technique, <laughs> you know, one thing, the symptom of that technique, one of them at least, which is contrary totally to the Paco Lucius style, this thing, the bad habit to rest the thumb all the time on the sixth string, or have it near the top, or rest between the top. Don't do that. Don't rest the thumb at all. And in fact, I will post up the description of this video another explaining why the piccolo, when you play piccolo scales and stuff, you don't need to rest the thumb there, not at all. And not even if some people say, well, Paco did it like that. I explained there why. I asked him personally also. So you're free to follow any opinion, but this one here, he told me personally. So I know that to practice, I said also that, that sometimes you rest the thumb here. And he said, yeah, but don't do it. You for practicing, you don't do it. So that's why I, I didn't do it. And I don't recommend you opposite to that master's advice, right? So resting thumb is very bad, also in strumming. Suppose I am playing, suppose I am playing a chord, strumming over, over some chords. If I have this resting here like constantly near, have in mind that the guitar has already six strings and you are taking one off because having this, unless we are playing for medio, right? Unless we are playing for medio, then we have to rest it here. It has a reason why to do it and why, why not to do it, but careful because this thing is a bad symptom because you don't need the thumb here resting. You don't need it really. And in, I believe in muted strumming, in tapado muted strumming, like for example, alegria, let's say. on the way of that, not at all. You don't need this, the thumb should not be, never, unless it's indicated specifically, be near the sixth string. So if you see someone like this, unnecessarily, or while doing piccolo, or to speak, all the energy is going downward instead of forward. There are many reasons why that does not make sense. And then another thing is, once you learn it the right thing, if you want to change it, change it, but we don't change the technique of Paco here of this specific thing has to be very clearly uh, understood that mis misunderstanding there are two obstacles only and one is misunderstanding something or having not clear so this is one and the other is jumping over your gradient of of being a, what you can digest you are going jumping over your gradient to understand and therefore of course this means playing faster than what you can play or repertory that is not adequate to your level etc right you need to know how to do it otherwise it's like self-medication this do it yourself and be confused forever what's that that's self-medicating right that's why there is an expert there the doctor will tell you this is the medicine you need to take every eight hours such and such pin don't combine this with that etc because they, they are supposed to say that right but if i go to the from a to there to the drugstore and said, give me this, this, and this. No, no, you cannot do that. You, you know, why we have plenty of bottles of this pill, take one, no? Even, even if there are many people following one thing, that doesn't mean it is also right, right? So, suppose, because 90% of the people rest the thumb here maniacally all the time, out of bad habit, does it mean that it's okay because everybody does? No, that's another thing. And that's why we should not confuse. This is a backwards technique. I'm not inventing or making up anything. I actually clear also my doubts because it's good to have doubts and to ask. That's why I am answering here. Nobody's paying me here to answer you. I'm doing it because I like to help others with this thing and with the experience I have shared it. Right? I experience joy at that. So forget about this resting business. And having the, the thumb near the top of the guitar or the string is a very bad habit. Don't do it. Not at all. No. This thumb should not be resting. Because that potentially means that you will not target the, the you will not sound deep like hitting from the sixth string. Right? Every strumming that we play, of course, the strumming, that's another thing. Because do you ask me that? 
divide, divide the strings three different divisions. Please. Sixth, thumb on the sixth, index on the fifth, middle on the fourth, ring finger on the third. These four strings are called low form. Then, if I place my thumb on the fifth, index on the fourth, middle finger on the third, and ring finger on the second, that's called middle four. And then, thumb on the fourth, index on the third string, middle on the second string, and ring finger on the first string, that's called top four. So when we play strumming, we want to sound bassier, so mainly this is only low four, really speaking. Quiet. I explained this many times that if we sound bassier, that's good, cool, right? But if I go and do the exact same thing over the, the trebles, look what happens. This is what happens, it becomes hilarious. And this, of course, muted, it's also worse because there, instead of sounding supposed in Bolivia, Do exactly that on the on the on the on the top four string loop. It's, it's, it's horrible, and this this is an exaggeration, of course. But this is happening because of this habit, and everything you play on on, on mute the strumming, you never hit first and second string. So this is caused by this uh, bad idea of resting the thumb here for no reason. Because actually, I, I ask you why you rest there. And if there is a reason why we don't want to play the note or something, or it's a page that has a fragment that continues that way, or simply probably to rest in one fragment, then no problem. But first, we need to master the technique properly. And, and Paco himself, he told me, this is not good. Because you never get big, you don't have good free hand movement with the thumb here. Nor for Picard is a good idea, for Rasquez is also not a good idea, unless you are playing for medium. Right? So if you are playing for, for medium, then you need to hit obviously fifth string. Right? With the basses, I mean. And that because it has that target tone you know, has also difference in volumes on the strings. Having more volume the fifth, less the fourth, less the third, like that. And when it's upward, the other way around. It's more volume here, here, here. It's just not up or down. Uh, so gross, like this. It's, it's very much subtle, this thing, up to, up to the dance level. How to play to sound great in either with chords or with muted strumming, but if you are playing, say, for arriba or another thing, this is a big defect, because you are killing the sixth string, and that is like 18% of the guitar power. So, it means eliminating this, plus creating other serious problems on the strummings, and with chords, without chords, everything. And the energy towards the picado thing, watch the description of this video, about don't rest the thumb on strings for picado, and why I explain it, how I prove that's not necessary. I mean, in fact, because Paco told me, so I don't have any, any more any doubt regarding that. One should clear doubt, but once you clear your doubt, then you have to follow, decide what you want to follow. Also, if you don't want to do it, no problem, but it's you that will not <laughs> get a good sound, right? I am just telling you which will be the possible obstacles there around this thumb. thumb Keep it outside, not near the, the string or the top, and then it will improve for sure, unless it's specifically indicated to that is necessary, right? Otherwise, don't do it. So, practice properly, and I see you next time.